guys. Hi. We have had a lot of fun showing you guys our empties. Like when we finish out products, we feel like it's a sense of accomplishment it to is. say that something is done. It also gives us the right to go out and buy a new something. It does. It makes us feel good because we're like, we finished a bunch of products, then we don't we don't have any, well, we rarely have buyer's guilt. Well, on occasion we do probably. But it makes us feel good that yeah. we're going through our stuff and we're actually using it. That's, That's right. The whole point of buying it is to actually use it and finish it up. Right. And we're trying not to hoard because we don't want to be on an A&E show. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> yeah. So this is our third in the series of empties, yeah. so we're having a lot of fun giving these to you. Um, we're going to go through and show you some of what our products are that we've used up, and Jamie has a lot, so I'm going to let her go first. I'm going to get started. Um, you guys know if you've been watching that I love to take baths. I'm a bath girl. I grew up like that. That's how I am. Um, and since we started these videos, I've had a lot of like products started that I would bounce around because there's nothing wrong with bouncing around and going into right. different things not at all because we do that a lot yeah but I like to come back and now finish them and this was a little like small travel size of shower smoothie shower gel shampoo and bubble bath from Ulta and it was in banana bliss mm -hmm. really small I'll tell you what got me this was at the counter when you check out <laughs> why do they do that because of suckers like me um, this banana scent is amazing it's yeah. fabulous I love it now using this as a bubble bath it bubbles in the beginning but it doesn't hold the bubble very okay. long so I don't think this is something that I would buy again but the banana smell is just so good I mean maybe I would buy the little ones I wouldn't yeah. go buy like the big ones yeah um, and then quickly I'll just try to this is uh, Bath and Body Works warm vanilla sugar one of my favorite favorite scents of all time from them I get it every year and I usually like it in cooler months or when I kind of feel, it's weird, if I kind of like not feeling great that day, this is kind of the hmm, scent. It's like your comfort scent? Yeah, Like a kinda. comfort food? But yeah, comfort it scent. is. And I figured I had like, you know, this much left and I was like, you know what, I'm going to get into all my summer ones. Let me just finish that out. Cool. I will always repurchase that one. And how are the bubbles from those? Great. Victoria's, so, Jamie, Victoria's Secret. Jamie is our Bath bubble and Body store. Works. Their bubbles are fabulous. I, they're one of my favorites. Cool. Um, and then the Body Shop. This is a mango shower gel, which I don't use a shower gel. I use strictly for bubble baths. Um, love the mango scent. Like the mango scent better in the body butter than the other ones. For some reason, I think they're a little bit different, but still fabulous. Body Shop Mate has great bubbles, mm -hmm. staying power, um, and it felt good to use all this. And this is a summer scent. I was, but I was like, I'm gonna mix it up. Yeah, go for it. it still smells a little bit. But oh, don't yeah. don't you think the the body butter that you smelled in mine recently is better? It smells stronger. This body but no, the body butter smells yeah. stronger. But I do love these. They're like oh. some of my go to. Cool. Okay. Um, well, I don't go through bubble bath and shower gel at the rate that Jamie does uh, because I'm not a big like bath taker. Actually, I just realized there's maybe some that has rolled down the sides of this that I have a little bit left. I don't know if it's really worth much, but this is a Shea Moisture Organic Coconut and Hibiscus Shea Butter Wash with Songyi Mushroom. <laughs> It says that this is for brightening and toning. I can tell you that I never felt like I got brightened nor toned from this. Um, but the reason that I bought it is not because I know what Songyi mushrooms are. It's because to me it smells like pineapples. And I really like the really oh, tropical gosh, like yeah. pineapple scent to it. Um, and it says it's no parabens, no phylates, no, pa um, no paraffin no formaldehyde, that's good, uh, no propylene, glycol, mineral, oil, synthetic fragrance, animal testing, PABA, and synthetic color, no DEA, and no animal ingredients. So it's very, like, organic and good for the earth and good, yeah. for, good for your skin. I just didn't feel like the brightening and the toning really did anything. The smell is good, though. Yeah. It smells nice. And it, I actually might can get one more use yeah. out of that. Um, I thought it was totally empty, but I guess it ran down the sides and pulled again. Um, so, yeah, I tried this because one of our friends, Erin from um, Tropical Mine, she really likes the Shea Moisture products, and you can get these at Target. So I decided I wanted to try something. I did like the scent, and I liked it overall for a shower gel. I just didn't think it brightened and toned, but that's okay. Like, I can survive without the brightening and toning. Um, I mean... I probably need it, but when they create one that brightens and tones, I want it all to over. brighten and tone. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but I did like it. I would probably not repurchase it though. 
Um, this is one that you've seen before. Mindy showed this, I believe, in our first empties. It's the Neutrogena Body Lotion and Light Sesame Formula. Mm -hmm. um, some of our favorites. And it's funny, I told... I told Wes, I was like, uh, hey, I just finished this. I'm awesome. And he's like, yeah, you're awesome. <laughs> and I was like, I'm totally going to buy another one. But I, I want to use up a couple more before I let myself go and buy this. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because you can see that there's a little left. But I'm telling you, I would take this out and I tried to scoop mm -hmm. it. And then I'm like, like this. I got just about all of it out. And I'm someone that if I can cut, cut it and open it, I'm going to scoop down and I couldn't really cut yeah, this one so hard but this is fabulous it's very light very it. perfect for this time of year although I use it all year long mm -hmm. love it definitely I love the smell all right another bath um, product or this is a I guess it's something I used in the shower a lot this is the fresh brown sugar body polish the name of it has actually really worn off we won this in a giveaway from one of our friends Mary Lane she used to write a blog uh, a blog called the blonde it stylish That's three true. Um, I don't think she's blogging anymore, but um, we won this in a giveaway that she had last summer. It was her like, favorite. Yeah. yeah. And um, Jamie and I split this, so I only ever had half of this, but it actually took me a long time to go through it. Um, mm -hmm. You only need it a little bit because it was a really coarse. It smells so good. Though. Very, I can smell it right here. Yeah. It was a very coarse granule body sugar, like more so than like a typical body scrub. Yeah, um, I liked it. Very chunky, like chunky pieces. Chunky. So you only need it a little bit in order to it use it. It smells like lemon. Yeah. It, it smells so mm. good. It's the lightest, like, um, citrus. Like almost. energizing almost, like the scent is. Citrusy, sugary. Yeah, it's really, really, it smells really good. Um, but I finished this finally, so I was like, yes! <laughs> it's, like, quite the accomplishment. <laughs> um, then I have this. Oh, I didn't cut this. Could oh, you? Eh, it's really thick and heavy. It'd probably be tough. This is a Bliss Lemon and Sage Body Butter Light. I've talked about this scent on the blog before with the um, like the bubble bath or the mm -hmm. shower gel that I liked a lot. And I had a little bit of this left because basically I would keep it just for like spring and summer and then you know pull it back out because it was really it's very thin but it is moisturizing. Okay. Um, if I had to buy one of the two of them again, I would to you know I'm gonna totally do the. the the bubbles. The something about those bubbles made me feel good. But this was really nice. I like. I need to try some more Bliss. I think Mindy's tried it's a brand some. That I, I haven't like, tried yeah. a lot. Um, but this was nice. Yeah, and I finally finished it. Cool. I finished something little, but um, I go through so many lip balms that I actually have probably you know ten of them open at a time that I'm reaching for. So for me to finish one is kind of a big deal. Uh, this is the Vanilla Carmex. I really like the flavor, and I think that this is a big lifesaver for me as far as my dry lips go. Mm -hmm. I was never really a Carmex fan. I've always been a chapstick girl, and Jamie was kind of like, try Carmex. And I went out and I got the Vanilla and I got the Lime, and I really, really like both of them. The Vanilla, I think I enjoy a little bit more. It, I mean, it has that medicated kind of carmex -y smell to like it, it, but... Yeah, it's not like bad, it. but it has the the a little bit of a flavor and scent of vanilla in it too. It's SPF 15. It's it's great. I mean, I love it. I did dig my fingernail down yeah, in it to like there. get every little last bit, but I love finished. them. I have the lime and the cherry, and they're my favorites. And I'll obviously definitely buy more of these. And oh, and they have a strawberry one out now. Did you know that? I just bought it. Oh no. Yeah, strawberry Carmex. So I'm happy about Let's that. Smell that one. Yeah. And I'm going to make Mindy feel better because she thought that was a really small accomplishment. <laughs> I have the smallest accomplishment. <laughs> because I want to show samples because we get samples at Birch Ulta Box, sometimes. We get Sephora. Yeah. Well, yeah. We get samples from everywhere and everybody. And they usually go into a box for me. Well, I've started to try to use them so I can say I've used some of those. Yeah. And this was one that I liked. This is a, is it Bosha, Basha, or Bashia? I'm going to say Basha. I think it's either, I say Basha, but I think I've heard people say Bosha, so I don't know which one's correct. I'm going to say Basha, and it's yeah. called the Restorative Night Moisture Cream. Just came in a little thingy like this. Um, rich hydrating cream that delivers high levels of intense moisture overnight while it helps diminish the appearance of uneven skin tone, dullness, and fine lines. Apply in PM to cleanse and tone face. I follow these directions if I don't tone, which I probably should, but I don't. Um, 
finished this a little bit ago and I know people say when it gets warmer you don't need a heavier cream. I still like heavier creams for my skin and I really enjoyed using this at night. I thought it held its moisture. Um, you can't really smell it anymore. I really mm -hmm. liked it. It's something that I would try again. Yeah. But I really like the sample. Cool. I will say that. I think Basha has great products. I love their um, Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing yeah. Oil. is my favorite like face wash. Um, okay, I have two things to go together, and I have a kind of a, a situation I want to discuss. Um, I finished, <laughs> it's a sitch, um, I had the L'Oreal Evercream Sulfate Free Moisture System Intense Nursing, Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. You guys probably saw this in a favorite video a few months ago. I finished them. This is a big deal for me. I have to talk about this. I normally get bored with shampoos and conditioners and I don't finish them out a lot of times and then I like then I'll have like this much yeah. left and I'll hoard them and then all of a sudden Chris will come through the bathroom and just like purge all of the ones that I have this much left of. So I finished this one. He does but it. Yeah, he'll throw them away if I only have a little bit left because I, you're, I, not gonna, you're not going to. Admittedly, use them. they're like probably five different shampoos in my shower at any given West, time. Wes, they're not getting the idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just um, but we'll run out of like shelf space in the shower, and then he gets like really, really. <laughs> um, so, totally finish the shampoo. Um, I want to talk about something. These are both eight and a half fluid ounces, and I want to know if I'm the only one who never finishes a shampoo and conditioner at the same oh, no, time. No, no, I never have you finished never do. conditioners. Why don't they make conditioners in a slightly smaller packaging? Like, it's because. And here's another thing that I'm weird about. I like to use the matching shampoo and conditioner together. So now that I have like this much left too. in I the conditioner, too. I don't know that I'll I will have to force myself to use this. I won't want to naturally go to it because I don't have the shampoo for it. Um, I do that too, and I don't know why. So I'm like, maybe the company should make the conditioner in like a seven and a half ounce. I do actually have. You could go through them at the same pace. Conditioners in my closet that are like this much because I don't have the shampoo. Yeah. So anyway, I wanted to talk about that because I was like, am I, someone, am I the only person who does that? No, no. Okay. I do it too. I think it's normal. So my condition, my situation, the set chair, is that I finished my shampoo, but I still have a little bit of my conditioner, but I really don't want to use it anymore since I don't have the shampoo. It's a, it's, I'm telling you, my life is, this is the drama that I deal it's with so in my stressful. life. This is the drama. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. What does it smell like? If I life heard. only ever gets this complicated, I will. Oh, I it will smells nice. Good. It smells really nice. Yeah, I did like it. I liked it a lot. So hmm. I would think about buying this again, but I'm really excited to um, try some other shampoos and conditioners that are new releases that I have maybe purchased already. Um, I'm excited yeah, to move on to those first. Um, my last two things are little samples of. Lancome. I'm so happy that I can finally talk about that. For I'm real. finally talking about Lancome and my love of yes. Lancome. Um, this was this was an older sample. I mean, I don't even know if it it doesn't have a day on it. It was older <laughs> though. Um, Absolute Premium BX. I don't know. It's a replenishing cream with SPF 15. Came in a little. There's an eyelash. <laughs> That's awesome. I must have been working hard on that. Um, just a little thing like this. Nice moist. They have nice moisturizers. Like a nice cream? No, I use it for daytime. Oh, okay. If it has SPF in it, I tend oh, to yeah. use it for daytime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it yeah. has no SPF, then I will save it for the evening. Yes. But like I said, I get these samples either from my mom or little free gifts. Um, I hope she's got some stocked up because I feel like I'm about to be running low. Um, and then this was a little sample of the Genifique Eye Cream, and it's a youth activating eye concentrate. I like the way it felt. It was gel like. Ew. I have hair in these, like, whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was gel-like, and you can see I got it down in there. And um, I like me some eye creams. I'm not going to yeah, lie. Yeah, me too. And all the scents are really nice, and some are florally, and I don't really know what that smells like, but I like it. Yeah, it's really light. Uh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I like this. This was, like I said, free sample. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, Love it. That's it. That's all of my empties this, <laughs> this go-around. Sorry, I knocked one off. That's okay. You had a lot. I did. I did. Yeah. Well, we, I feel good about it. Well, I feel good about it, too. I'm really excited that I could finish the shampoo and conditioner. Like, seriously, that is a huge feat. It is huge. That's it a big, is huge. big feat. 
I think it's not awesome. Feet. Like, it is. On my feet. Like feet. It's so, time for like, us to go. Like it's a big feat. It's time for us to go. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. Thank you so much for, for watching. watching our videos. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.